The day was unfolding like any other on the safari until an unexpected sight caught everyone off guard. It was as picturesque a day as one could hope for in the wilderness with wildlife roaming as usual. That was until George and Mark, two guides, spotted a lion from afar that took their breath away. What happened next would leave them stunned. The lion's appearance was odd. It was as though he was seeking assistance from the guides. George wasted no time in contacting the local wildlife expert, who was baffled by the situation at hand. This was a first for him. Upon viewing the ultrasound images, the expert felt compelled to involve local authorities. But the question remained, what was afflicting the lion? And what exactly did the ultrasound reveal? Venturing into the wild to perform medical examinations on a wild creature isn't standard practice, but the health of this peculiar lion worried the guides enough to necessitate a professional checkup. Throughout their extensive experience in the wild, they had never encountered a case like this. Upon the expert's request for assistance, the authorities assured prompt action. It became clear the lion required not just medical attention, but also surgical intervention, as there seemed to be a serious anomaly within his stomach. This situation could very well be a matter of survival. Witnesses to these events were left in astonishment. They could never have anticipated such a turn of events unfolding before them. Particularly, the guides and the wildlife expert were taken aback by the developments. They were committed to unraveling the mystery at hand. George shared insights on his relationship with the lion, mentioning his years of dedication as a guide. After providing his account, an exclamation of disbelief emanated from the surgical area. I can't believe it, exclaimed the wildlife expert. But what inside the lion could have surprised him so greatly? Though the role of guides is crucial for the preservation of the savanna and its species, they often find themselves ill-equipped for certain challenges. This in no way undermines the significance of their conservation efforts. Lacking a support network, the guides feel increasingly overwhelmed by their responsibilities, not to mention the mounting pressures from their superiors. This plight has not gone unnoticed by the external world, prompting intervention by some, so the stakes were significantly higher. Assessing the scenario, George contemplated his next course of action. Was it heat exhaustion due to prolonged exposure to the sun? No, that wasn't it. He had been diligently hydrating to meet his bodily needs, so he was not hallucinating. The sight before him caused George great concern, prompting him to instinctively retreat. Initially, he kept his distance from the lion, uncertain of how it might react to his presence. The sight of the animal in distress stirred an urgent desire within George to offer assistance. The lion, the most majestic he had ever encountered, was also familiar to him. A discussion with his supervisor removed any doubts. Immediate intervention was critical. They had to relieve the animal of the abnormal swelling in its belly. It was clear urgent action was required. Approaching the lion with caution, George was joined by other rangers at the scene. It was uncertain how the lion, a creature of pride, would receive George. Suddenly, the focus shifted to George, prompting a wave of apprehension. Was the lion about to charge? His colleagues cautioned him to back away. They explained that the lion, feeling cornered, might exhibit aggression as a defense mechanism, leading to unpredictable behavior. That's when the rangers devised an alternative strategy. They decided to contact the nearest wildlife veterinarian. The ranger, Taken aback when the call abruptly ended, relayed the veterinarian's advice to keep a safe distance from the lion to avoid provoking an attack. Before any attempt to sedate the lion, the veterinarian requested the rangers prepare the animal for examination. But before we continue, take a second to give this video a like to help it reach 7k likes and subscribe to the channel. Ensuring the vicinity was secure for the veterinarian's safe approach, George chose to take the lead in pacifying the lion. Having found it, he was determined to oversee the operation's smooth execution. Given the swelling's particular location at the start of the abdomen, it seemed improbable for it to have internally originated. Thus, the entire situation escalated to a more daunting and worrisome level. Everyone involved was left wondering, what mysterious thing could be causing this lion such distress? Clearly, the lion had consumed something detrimental to its health, necessitating immediate medical intervention to survive. There was absolutely no margin for error. Yet the officials were at a loss regarding the next steps. 
they sought the veterinarian's guidance on the best approach. Should they adhere to the initial timeline? Alternatively, should they transport the lion for care? They hoped for the former solution. However, the trip to the officer's site posed a significant challenge for the vet, as she was unfamiliar with their exact location, and the timing coincided with peak traffic hours. Nonetheless, she needed to arrive promptly to ensure the lion's survival. The proposition to fetch the veterinarian was made by one of the wardens, though this would result in delays. Still, there were individuals at the warden headquarters knowledgeable about the location and how to navigate there. Hence, the veterinarian opted to proceed to their office. Upon arrival, the challenge of delay became apparent for the wardens as well. Their worst fears materialized. The tranquilizer's effect on the lion had worn off, and it no longer wanted to remain still. Having waited a considerable time, the lion attempted to move. The wardens were uncertain of their next course of action. A few considered abandoning the operation to return home, questioning the importance of saving a mere animal that likely ingested something harmful. The team was divided. However, some took the veterinarian's advice seriously, knowing that releasing the lion at this point would lead to its certain demise. Fortunately, these individuals formed the majority, unwilling to cease their efforts to aid the lion. Even as the lion moved sluggishly, the wardens leveraged their vehicles to block its advance deeper into the wilderness. Their supply of tranquilizers was depleted, preventing further sedation attempts, yet the veterinarian still possessed a dose. Despite this, they needed to bide their time for her to arrive. As the veterinarian approached, the lion remained where the security team had initially positioned it for care. Nonetheless, the situation was evidently escalating with the lion becoming more confrontational. The security team hesitated to move their vehicles, which were used to encircle the animal, especially as the lion began to focus its attention on those still inside their vehicles. Nearby, many wardens felt their anxiety peak, opting to distance themselves by driving their vehicles away from the increasingly irate animal. The vet knew immediate action was necessary, recognizing sedation as the sole viable course of action. Yet this approach wasn't without its hazards, primarily the fear that the lion might not recover post-sedation given its distressed state. But the animal's overt aggression reassured the vet of its strong survival instinct boosting her confidence in the sedative's effectiveness. Her next step was to cautiously administer the tranquilizer to the lion. Subsequently, the lion vanished from view. The wardens, drained from the ordeal, were visibly exhausted, with some collapsing from sheer relief, while others noted their heartbeat stabilizing after the tense scenario. They had narrowly escaped peril multiple times, making their gratitude for each escape profound. The vet then redirected her focus to the lion's significant swelling, the primary reason for her presence. She extracted her medical bag from the lodged vehicle parked at the warden headquarters, preparing for the procedure ahead. Determining that an ultrasound was necessary, she wasted no time in contacting the relevant authorities. Upon reviewing the results, the presence of police in the vicinity to provide support hinted at an unusual situation unfolding. Consequently, George found himself answering inquiries. Why him? A physical examination allowed the vet to confirm her suspicion. An item was lodged at the lion's stomach entrance, indigestible by the animal. With no alternatives left, the vet realized the only solution was to surgically retrieve the item from within the lion. This action became the critical, unavoidable next step in the process. Although surgical operations always come with inherent risks, these risks are heightened when the operation has to take place outdoors in vast open lands. Yet there are times when no other alternatives exist. Through the process of carefully incising through the skin, muscle, and throat, the source of the obstruction is finally revealed to all in attendance. The veterinarian conducted this procedure with the highest level of skill and attention. However, the discovery was unexpected by everyone involved. What was extracted from the lion was a chunk of undigested food, which had caused the swelling. Embedded within this food was an item that initially confounded the veterinarian, which is why George had to get in touch with law enforcement. There was a shiny object within the food. George shared with the officers that he suspected what it might be, pointing out a tiny microchip encased within the food. 
He recounted a recent incident in the area involving some suspicious persons and how the situation unfolded. George had encountered some illegal hunters earlier who had a gadget, and he had taken it from them. He swiftly retrieved this gadget from his vehicle and presented it to the law enforcement officers. One officer immediately recognized the gadget as someone else had been apprehended with a very similar item recently. This gadget could track the microchip, enabling hunters to locate the lion stealthily without the conservationist being aware. This strategy had been adopted lately. The food ingested by the lion was indigestible, leading to the blockage. Once the microchip was extracted, the veterinarian quickly finished stitching up the lion's injuries. As she completed this task, she made sure the lion faced no other issues. Fortunately, the lion appeared to be in robust health and was expected to recover swiftly. It only took a short while for the lion to regain consciousness. Initially, he appeared dazed and confused by what had happened. Yet gradually, he started to move with greater agility than before his surgery. Once the lion ventured off into the wilderness for good, the veterinarian had one last responsibility. She offered her heartfelt thanks to the conservationists for their exceptional efforts in safeguarding both themselves and the lion. The police were determined to apprehend the poachers involved, and they eventually did. What do you think of today's story? Also, what do you think about poachers? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our uploads. Until next time.